Okay, so, uh, morning, uh, uh, day one of the package, just in case some of you still have questions. Uh, like I said before in the other videos, I will do as many as I can and do all of them. Uh, so let's start with, with number one. So Susie bought five packages of M&Ms and each package contained 18 candy pieces. She opened the first package and counted four greens. And she counted, she then counted three green uh, pieces in the second page. And so it says, which statement about the candy pieces in the remaining pages is the best supported by the information? So you gotta read one each individually, but remember, there's uh, five packets. So, one, two, there's three, there's four, there's five packets. The first packet, uh, there's the four greens. The second one, there's three. Well, what, uh, what could happen here is, uh, well, in the third packet, we can get. Yeah, we can get it and as much as uh, maybe four again. Thursday. And the fourth day we can get well, three again is over here. And the fifth day, what if the pattern continues? We get four here. And that's a total of how many greens? That's what, four, seven, fourteen, eighteen greens. And so this is just one uh, example. I mean, this could be uh, two, one, zero. Yeah. So just think of a uh, this example and see if uh, you can keep, uh, keep the best possible answer. One of the best supports. Like I said, there, there could be many scenarios. Okay? It doesn't have to be this way. But just think here, what if this pattern get repeated? Okay, number two here. The toy factory purchases 290 kg spinners per day. A new spin is tested before it is packaged. After testing, the first 40, Carlos finds three of them to be defective. Based on these results, which of the following is likely the total number of defective spin? Okay. So, it's likely the student is the spinners. Uh, they're comparing the total spinners, or how many, how many of the total spinners were defective? Well, he did uh, spin 40, and of those four, this is the first one. He spun 40, and he found out that was only three of them were defective. So the total was 40, and three were defective. And so, what does that mean? Well, that means that if you spin it, how many times, how many uh, pages spins is the that you have? There's too many meeting spinners. So, how many of those will be defective? So for every 40, there was three. Every 40, there's uh, three defective. Well, how many defective will be those intermediates? You can see two cracks next to each other. Can, what can you do? Yes, sir. Think of uh, proportions. Multiply and divide. So, of course, you don't have to solve it this way, but it's just one option. Of course, you can say you cross multiply. Okay, you win. I'm sure some of you have uh, different strategies. How to solve it? It's just one word. So, there's three there. Rachel has two bags of uh, five apples and oranges. Uh, if both bags are combined, uh, combined means plus, what is it? Is a true statement. Okay, so let's look at the, if they're combined, how many total fruit do we have? We have uh, five here, five here, we have ten total. And so how many, uh, what do we have? Oranges and apples. This is the five of these. How many uh, oranges do we have total? So we have two, three, four, five. We have six oranges. So these are the oranges. And how many apples do we have? Well, there's ten total. Six are oranges, and these we have four apples. Now, these fractions can be certified. And then, read each one that you look at them, and you get them. Okay. 
Uh, Jake surveyed from his 25 classmates and their favorite flavor of ice cream. If one student in the class is picked at random, which statement is true? All right, so uh, it says the student's favorite flavor is more likely more than twice, more than twice, that's twice means two times, or double, that's likely to be cookies and cream than rock and roll. So, cookies and cream, how many do we have cookies and cream? Cookies and cream is four. Rock and roll is three. So, if you think four is double, more than double, this thing. Uh, make sure it says each flavor is equally likely to be the student's favorite. That means that all of these are the same. Do you think they are the same chance? Okay, well, that's the, uh, the student's favorite flavor is more likely, that means has a better chance, more likely to be strawberry twist, strawberry twist with juicy letter, than the other three combined. Combined means plus. So it means all of them together. Well, strawberry twist is 11. All of these together is like 10, 14. So the students more likely or have a better chance to pick strawberry twist, which is 11, more than 14. Do so you think 11 is more than 14? Uh, Jay, the student's favorite color is more likely a flavor other than strawberry twist. That means that they're likely to pick something else other than the strawberry twist. Well, strawberry twist is 11. How much were the other ones combined? The other ones were 14. So think about that. Let's see if we can make it best possible. Tricks. Number five. If Jake brings Rocky Road and chocolate chip to the class, which of the following is true? Okay, so Rocky Road and... Uh, Rocky Road is three, chocolate chip is seven. That's ten. Okay, so, so Rocky Road and chocolate chip here. So this is a seven and three, which is a ten. Which of the following is true? Half of the class will have the opportunity. Okay, so let's. Uh, they want the half of the class will have the opportunity. Flavor. Okay, so let's see uh, how many were in the class total. It says 25. So we have 10. 10 students. Three Rocky Road and Chocolate Chip. Rocky Road and Chocolate Chip. 10 students uh, will get their favorite choice because the Jake is bringing Rocky Road and Chocolate Chip. So with 10, so how many total students do we have? So we actually have uh, 25 total students. So, and uh, Jake is bringing Rocky Road and Chocolate Chip, so we're bringing 10. So is this fraction going to simplify to half? If it does, yeah, that's your answer. Does it simplify to 10 to this? Or is it the total of 10 students will have their favorite flavor? Or more than half of students will have their favorite flavor? So think here. 10 out of 25 is what Jake would be able to uh, satisfy. 10 custom, 10 uh, students out of the 25. So we can make the best place. Okay, number six, a car salesman has sold 42 cars in the color shown in the graph. Uh, it says there, white and green are the only other two colors a car sells. So these are the white and green. It says, uh, based on this trend, which statement is the best predictor for the next car you will sell? Okay, you gotta read what individ individually and this image and see which makes the best sense. Remember, these are the white and green, uh, white and uh, green colors. It is at least two times more likely that the next car sold will be red than the other three. Two times, remember, this means double. Okay, so double. 
So red we have like 14. White or green we have 7. Do you think this is double that? The master answer. It is equally, G says, it is, is it equally likely that the next color sold will be red or gray than any other color? So red or gray means red plus gray. So we have red plus gray, which is 14 plus 12, is equal to the other colors combined. So we have 9 plus 7. If they're equal, we'll see that. It is three times more likely that the next parcel will be gray or, or blue. So gray or blue, gray we have 12, and we have blue we have 9. So we have 14 more. If this is three times the other colors, that's the answer. It is seven times more likely that the next parcel will be white or green. Okay, so this is a white or green, seven. So is the seven seven times more likely than the other colors. Okay. See, which one makes the best sense. It says there, which of the following is the true payment in comparing with two spinners? Uh, let's look at the spinners. This one has uh, what, three sections of one and two. This one has half. So two ones and two twos. You just read them and uh, see which one makes more sense. Always pick up this twice as likely. Okay. That means double. Equal means the same. Uh, twice is likely again. Double. Equal. They're the same. So just read it carefully and make it this uh, case. Eight, a six sided dice is rolled. A six sided die is rolled three times. If the first two rows are odd numbers, which is the, the true statement about the third row? Yeah. Think about die. It has six sides. Just because you wrote it two times, the first two times, uh, does it change the outcome? Okay. Think about how many odds are there. Think about how many evens are there. So you do the first six numbers on a six sided die. One and two, six. How many odds? How many are evens? So if you know what the odds are, the odds are one, three, five. The evens are two, four, six. And so think there, okay, is it equal? Is it less likely, more likely, or more likely again? Think about that. Okay, number nine there. Uh, Megan has two sets of points as shown below. It randomly selects a point from each set. From which set will she have a higher probability of choosing a dime? Uh, here we have one, two, three, four, six choices. How many are dimes? Uh, one. This one has five choices. And one is a dime. Okay. Greater, again, equal. Are they equal to each other? Well, it doesn't seem like they have the same uh, denominator. Greater, which one's greater? So think about that. Uh, convert them to decimals if you want. And you figure that out. And that's the last one. Let's help you. Good luck.